Hello, Leos. How are you? Okay, so your message, Leos, is that there is some type of agreement, contract, situation that is going on as well. Look further into this contract, okay? Look deeper into this as well. Even before signing this agreement. Okay? Also know that there is someone not being truthful as well, Leos. So, Keep your eyes open. Pay attention to your intuition as well. Okay? Also know that things are going to be... Some things that you're going through is going to be completed. There's going to be a resolution to the, some of the things that you are going through. Now, Leos, when it comes to love... Be look, it's like separation is getting ready to happen. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. It is getting ready to happen. Okay. Call upon the Lord for peace and healing and for guidance, Leos. Okay. And this message is for you. Look deeper in that situation with the contract. Okay. The things that you're going through, it is going to be a resolution happening in that situation. Also know that there is some um, one not being honest about some things that is going on. So pay attention to your uh, intuition. Okay. Keep your eyes open as well. Leo's. God bless you. Hello, Aquarius. <laughs> well, Aquarius, your message is that there was things that were attached to you, like negative things, people as well, energy, not only just energy, but a lot of things that have been keeping you bound, okay? Know that you are going to be releasing all of the negativity, all the things that had you bound, um, old habits, old patterns as well. Like you are starting to release it all, okay? That serve you no purpose. Now, you do have to start working on your patience, um, Aquarius. Don't force things to happen. Let it happen naturally on its own. All right. There is going to be new beginnings for you, new opportunities as well. So be looking out, Aquarius. OK, this is your season. Remember that you guys did um, set the tone, but then fell off because of your emotional situation. So know that now it's like, OK, now. I understand. So now it's time for me to start releasing all of those negative patterns and ways, the things that was holding me down. I'm, it's like you're letting those things go. You're being patient when it comes down to you and your life. You're not going to force things to happen. You're going to let it happen naturally, okay? Um, but know that there is new beginnings for us. Yes. And new beginnings, doors are opening as well. Um, new opportunities, new jobs, new love. Yes. New, new. All right. Now, listen, Aquarius, don't force things to happen. Let it happen naturally, even when it comes down to love, okay? Know that, let it work on its own timing, all right? Know that this love, this relationship is worth waiting for. So be patient, okay? Be patient. And while you're being patient, Aquarians, clearly you decide what you want, so that it comes to you, okay? Decide, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you, okay? Very soon, Aquarius. <laughs> yes, new beginnings. Yes, thank you, Lord. And don't forget to tell the Lord, thank you, okay? Thank you for supporting, for, for help, for his love as well, okay? And let the Lord lead the way.
He got us. All right, so Capricorns, we are here for you, honey. We are here. So know this, Capricorns, please be patient, okay? Don't force things to happen. Let it happen naturally as well. I do see some of you are very love to work. You're throwing yourself into work, okay? All right. Some of you are also on a journey, a quest to find something more meaningful for you in your lives. Yes. Also see when it comes down to love that there is separation that is happening. Yes. Also see where there is going to be time apart. Time apart is going to be happening, okay? Separation is going to be happening, you guys. Please be patient because I do see you guys um, on a quest to find something more meaningful in your life, okay? Some of you are just throwing yourself into work, very much of the workaholic. But listen, Capricorns, please be patient, okay? Pray and ask God to heal your heart as well, to bring peace in your life also, Okay, Capricorns, you guys be blessed. Be blessed, Capricorns. Know that God loves you, the creator of heaven and earth. Know that Lord Jesus Christ loves you, and I love you too, Capricorns. But yes, be patient. Be patient. And love yourself. Treat yourself good. I'll buy you something new. And smile. Hello, Pisces. This is for you on this. This is for you, Pisces, okay? Know that there is going to be new beginnings, okay? New opportunities as well. Doors are opening for you, Pisces. New adventures also, um, Pisces. Be more creative as well, all right? More artistic, Okay, I do see that happening for you also, Pisces, as well. Keep doing what you're doing. Stop putting the action. Do the work, Pisces, okay? And it's like you got it in you to do it. Do it, okay? Push through in by up in faith, okay? And make it happen because you got the strength to do it, Pisces. Go ahead and start doing it, okay? No more putting things to the side. Move forward with things, okay? Also, when it comes down to love, Pisces, stay optimistic, okay, about your love life, all right? Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. The one that you want, things that you want, when it comes down to love, it will bring, just stay positive. It will happen for you, okay? Think positive and have faith. Stay optimistic, all right? It is going to happen. And that is for you, Pisces. God loves you, Pisces. Jesus loves you too. And I love you, Pisces. Be blessed. Hello, Libras. Hello, Libras. Hello, Libras. This is for you, Libras. Listen, when... It comes down to you, Libras, and love as well. Love yourself first, Libras. Okay? Love you. Okay? Put a lot into yourself. Pay yourself first. Do more for yourself. Get your happy back as well. Smile again. Okay? But love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive you taking care of yourself you will start seeing more um even when it comes down to people looking okay even when it comes down to compliments as well and it also helps you build up your self-esteem and your confidence libra okay so love yourself more also, Libras, there's some codependency going on to where it's like you're, listen, some things are being affecting. Some things that you are going through is affecting your 
love life, your relationship, your romantic life as well, some type of addictions that is going on. Even when having negative things like insecurity as well, be grateful, um, Libras, for what you have, okay? Be very careful, grateful for what you have, okay? It's just love yourself, love on you. Ask God to help you heal, okay? Not only just help you heal, but to remove that addiction from you so that you can start loving yourself more and depending on the Lord and yourself, Libras. But lean not into your own understanding, Libra, and trust God. Trust this process of loving yourself first. Okay, Libras, know that God loves you, the creator of heaven and earth. Know that the Lord Jesus Christ loves you, and I love you too, Libras. Yes. Hello, Scorpios. We are back with Scorpios, okay? Now listen, Scorpios, there's a decision that needs to be made, okay? And I know you know that there's a decision and you're getting close to making your decision, all right? And it's like you're thinking about it as well. Make the decision that you need to make, Scorpios, okay? Make that decision from your heart. When you make it from your heart and you choose from your heart, then you would not regret the decision that you made, okay? But make the decision from your heart because I do see that you want a deeper connection. You want a deeper connection when it comes down to the relationship, okay? Even when it comes down to yourself. Okay, even when it comes down to other people, it's like you're yearning for that deeper connection than what you have already. All right, do more for yourself as well, Scorpios. Love yourself, honor yourself as well. Okay, know that you are being looked at. You taking care of yourself, loving yourself first. And being patient as well, not rushing things, not trying to force things to happen. Okay, do I see it happening for you? Yes, be patient. Okay, Scorpios, be patient and make that decision from your heart. Okay, so that you won't regret anything. All right, so know that God loves you, the creator of heaven and earth, okay? Know that Jesus loves you, and know that I love you also, um, Scorpios. <laughs> Hello, Aries. Aries, listen, Aries. It's about that time, Aries, okay? Listen, there is so many possibilities so much going on with you as well like doors are opening for you not only just possibilities but great things are happening okay like really open your heart pay attention to your intuition as well because it's like it's wide open to different pop it's wide open okay so pay attention to your intuition aries Okay, it's like you guys are trying to hold everything together as well. All right, but know that there is plenty of possibilities out there for you, Aries. And it's like not only just possibilities, but there's options. Okay, Aries, look, look, okay, look deeper. All right, consider options because there is options. There are options, Aries, okay? Know that there is plenty of options for you, Aries. Look into your options as well, okay? Like your intuition is wide open. And you're getting the signs as well about these other different possibilities, Aries. Look deeper into it, but listen to your intuition, okay? It's like you're trying to keep everything together and hold everything together, 
But look deeper, okay? Pay attention to your intuition, Aries. Um, and start patting yourself on the back, congratulating yourself, rejoicing as well, Aries. Especially when you accomplish some things also, okay? Start doing that for yourself. Know that God loves you, Aries. I love you. Jesus loves you, Aries. But start being aware of other possibilities, okay? And start patting yourself on the back for doing a good job as well, okay? Hello, Sagittarius, the Sagittarius. Listen, Sagittarius, this is for you guys. Listen, your heart is open, Sagittarius. Like you are ready to receive love from others, okay? Not only just from other people, but from yourself as well, okay? Like you have gotten over that broken heart that you was going through. It's also Sagittarius. Woo! So know that you are ready. Your heart is open and ready for love. Pray also, Sagittarius, okay? Prayer changes things. So pray always. Pray about everything. And when you pray on um, Sagittarius, pray and believe that you will receive what you prayed for as well, okay? Now, remember when I said that your heart is open, Sag, and you are ready for love? Listen, listen. And not only with other people, with somebody else, but even when it comes down to yourself, like you are now loving yourself more, you are respecting yourself, you're doing more for yourself also, um, Sag, yes, and it's like now you've been doing all of that, now it's like you have become so attractive to someone else as well, so know that somebody is watching you, Sag, they are watching you, they see how you've been carrying yourself, Okay, so they're going to be at you. <laughs> it's coming. Okay, it's coming. Continue to love on you as well. Your heart is open and ready. Pray always. Okay, even when it comes down to those of you that are in a relationship as well. Listen, love. Your heart is open. Give love. Receive love as well. Open your heart to give and receive love okay because your heart is open all right so embrace the love embrace the love okay embrace it because it can grow into something else bigger sagittarius yes like i say the best for last <laughs> oh, love is in the air yes yes even when it comes down to you <laughs> Ooh, be grateful okay be grateful know that god created heaven and earth loves you sag jesus loves you also and i love you too sagittarius you guys be blessed okay be blessed